morning guys welcome to the day in my life of a FedEx delivery driver so it is currently 7.09 I'm in my car warming my car up and I'm about to leave probably about 7.15 um, I'm supposed to be at work at 8.30 but I try to get in a little bit early just because I'm driving a budget rental truck and if you guys don't know there's no shelving or anything inside a budget rental truck like there is in the other FedEx trucks so I like to get there a little bit early organize my stuff the way I do the route and then um, you know make sure I'm just not all over the place looking for packages during the day so I've been working there for about a month and they basically train me to do a part of one guy's route and then they train me for one day to do part of another guy's route so basically I'm doing those two parts together as a whole route so it's basically all businesses it's in the same general area um also they don't give us like GPS or maps or anything so you basically kind of had to learn the route like learn where to go and since the area that I'm doing is small like it wasn't that hard um but I trained on that route I think like a week and a half and then the other route I trained for a day but um if you have like a residential route you're gonna have to either use your phone for a GPS or you're gonna have to buy a GPS or I don't know maybe ask your uh, company to supply you with that I don't know but I don't have to worry about that so much just because like I said it's a small area so once I get to the warehouse guys I'm gonna have to film on my phone and I'm gonna try to get like what I'm working with for the day how my truck is looking if you guys have any questions about anything in this video you can leave them down below in the comments and I will try to answer your questions um, so yeah, let's just get into the video. Alright guys, so I made it to the terminal. We're gonna go in the back and see what we got today. Alright, so let's do it. Okay, so this is how the truck was looking when I went back there. It's pretty good. All I have to do is put it into the order that I like to do the route. Alright guys, so I'm in my truck. I showed you guys what I'm working with today. It's actually a really light day today. So... Yeah, so I don't know if everything is exactly scanned into my scanner, but on here it says 32 stops, 101 packages. I'm sure there's going to be a couple things that weren't scanned, so I'm going to have to add them. So I'll see probably at the end of the day how much I had to add. But right now it's 9.30. I've been at work for two hours. Um, I kind of finished loading my truck early, but they said we couldn't leave yet because they weren't done sending stuff down the belt so it's 9:30. i'm about to leave now and from where i am to my route it's about 20 to 30 minutes it just depends we'll see how long it takes to get from here to my route so it's currently 9:40. i'm about to leave now and i will check i will check back in once i get to my route so yeah all right, you guys, so I've got to my route, and today I have two residences, so I'm going to just drop these off now. Um, for today, I have four pickups um, all at different times today, so I'm going to show you guys the back of the truck, what it's looking like since I just drove here and stuff might be all over the place, but it is currently 10-10. So it took me probably a good half an hour to get over here. So let's go see what this truck is looking like. All right, here we have it. So it's a little messed up, but not too bad. Um, so let's go back here and find what we need to find. It's all the way in the back what I'm looking for. So let's get it. All right, so. What I'm looking for is back here, so I'm going to grab these two, and then all of this is one stop, 
it's the hospital so I'm gonna go there next after I drop these two off then we're gonna go to the hospital so let's do it all right you guys so I dropped off the hospital and I'm at another stop my boss called me told me to return to sender one of the packages so I did that and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with now so all the stuff for the hospital is gone that's the return to sender package that I'm gonna take back that's what I have over there and yeah so that's all I've got um pretty much can just take my time today because it's not much and I'm gonna enjoy my day today but I do have four pickups and one of them is at five o'clock so I don't get to go home which sucks but I'm gonna have some downtime today so we'll see what it's looking like a little bit later all right guys my hair is looking crazy I don't know all right so I'm gonna head into the back of the truck and just organize it a little bit because I don't have that much so I'm gonna put it like towards the edge of the door this is my truck my little budget truck but yeah stuff is for like the end of the day and this is all I have left I'm gonna be done with my first route very soon all right guys so I finished a couple more stops and I probably have like four stops left on the first route and then I'm not sure how much I have on the second route but on my scanner it says that I have I don't know I'm gonna have to check after I do this stop so let me go do this one package and then I'll come back and tell you guys how much is left on my scanner okay guys so that package that I just tried to deliver they basically refused it that's the same office that my boss called me earlier and told me to cancel that other box that they had which I did and I went to go deliver the other one they're like mm, no we don't want it so that is going to be returned to sender and currently on my scanner it says I have 15 stops left and 23 packages um which sounds about right we'll see at the end of the day because I started off with 32 stops and I've done 22 so far so um we're gonna see but one of these on here is not mine, Pennsylvania Avenue. That's definitely not mine, so yeah. Headed to the next stop. I've got like, I think, three more stops on this route. And then I might just take a break and then go to the other route or, I don't know. It's 12.20 currently, so let's just finish this first route and then we'll see what we're going to do. If we're going to take a break or just keep going. Alright guys, so I just showed you guys what I have left. Um, I think I'm just going to sit down and take a little break and then get back to it. So currently it is 12.43. I just did two, I just did a pickup. I have to wait until after one to scan those. And then I have another pickup that I can pick up now. My other one doesn't open until two, so... I'd rather just wait until I'm able to pick that up so once I go over to that area I can just be over there do the pickup do the drop-offs and then not have to go back over there so I think I'm gonna take a little half an hour break so at 1 15 I'm gonna head to the next stuff and then I'll scan those pickups that I just had picked up and then yeah there's really not that much left so I'm gonna just take my sweet time because my pickup at 5 o'clock is late, so I can't pick it up until 5 o'clock. So, 
yeah all right you guys this is my truck i don't know if i showed you guys but this is it my little budget anyways i'm about to scan those one o'clock pickups it's like 1 20. so i'm gonna scan them right now these are two hazmat boxes I'm going to the next stop now. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I'm at my last stop now. It's like a NIH building, so it is currently um, 2.44, so but I gotta figure my way around this government building because it's confusing. It's two buildings, but I think I only gotta go to one side today, so yeah. Let me get to it. All right, guys. So I'm finished the route. And let's see. So it's 319 currently. I finished everything. Um, I finished all the pickups except one. Of course, the one that's 5 o'clock. I have to wait for that. So I got about an hour and a half. I might just call him now and just see if he's gonna have anything going out if so then I'm still gonna have to wait until five or I don't know let me call him and then I'll come back on so I just called him and he's not gonna have it ready until five o'clock so I'm gonna have to wait until five o'clock all right guys so since I got a little time on my hands I thought I would go <laughs> into CVS I don't even know if you guys can see that but I'm gonna go to CVS and I need a thumbnail for my video. So I'm gonna get that now. All right, hopefully I can get the whole budget in the thing. Okay, so one of those is gonna be the thumbnail, who knows? I wanted to get my budget truck in there. But yeah, let me go into CVS and see what they got going on. All right, you guys, so I went to CVS and, oh crap, I almost logged out of my scanner. Okay, well, I got a couple of things, so yeah. We need toothpaste, so I got that. And I got some um, CVS brand, like, Sensodyne kind of toothpaste. Um, my teeth have been a little bit sensitive lately, especially because, like, I drink iced coffee in the cold, so they've been a little bit sensitive, and then the last thing was the magnesium, so I got this, uh, CVS brand because it was way cheaper than the other brand, so hopefully it's good. See you guys back at my car when I'm ready to go home. Hey guys, so it is the end of the day. It's 5.58, almost six o'clock, and I'm in my car about to head home. So uh, it took me about half an hour to drive back. I had that pickup at five o'clock. He told me to wait a couple of minutes because he wasn't ready, so I waited. He had two boxes for me to pick up, picked those up, got on the road, came back, and um, it's six o'clock so I'm headed home and I'll be back tomorrow morning bright and early so thank you guys for watching this day in a life um, I showed you everything that I could it was a really light day today so I might need to show you guys on maybe a heavy day I don't know but yeah thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye